What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install the new X-Arcade Tri-Mode USB Zero Lag board. Now that's this board right here and it is a direct replacement to the existing boards in your X-Arcade. You can purchase this board and add it to any of your old X-Arcades like the Tank Stick or the Dual Joystick or even the solo, the single player unit that they no longer sell, you can retrofit it with this board and it's a direct drop-in replacement. Um, their board, their new uh, joysticks are gonna ship with this board starting in April, I believe, but right now you can already purchase them. And if you order any of their joysticks currently, it will include the board, but you have to install it yourself. Once April comes, they will come pre-installed, but until then, you would have to install the board yourself. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, and it's a very simple process to get this done. If you look at the back of the X-Arcade, you can see that it has these rubber feet, and all you have to do is remove the little piece of rubber that covers the screw in the center that comes right off. You can use a flathead screwdriver, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've already done it on most of these, but I'm gonna show you how to do it over here so that you can see that it's very easy to do. So right here, you just wanna pop out this center portion, the rubber cover comes right off, and then you can take your screwdriver and go ahead and remove the screw. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cover off. I've already done this to every other rubber foot so that I can save some time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cover off and that will reveal the internals of the XRK joystick. Now this here is a tank stick. Again, you can do this with any of their joysticks. And as you can see right there, that is the board that we're trying to remove. Now to make this easier, we're gonna go ahead and remove this one cable right here that is sticking out of the back and it's kind of in the way of the board, the board there. So to do that, I'm gonna use a bigger flathead screwdriver and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this piece of plastic right here off. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that off. Just be careful, be gentle, so you don't scratch your X-Arcade. And I'm just gonna kinda of work that out of there. Okay, there we go. So once you pop that off, you're gonna be able to go ahead and remove that entire cable. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna unplug that cable from the board. You just pop it right off. You just wanna be careful not to pull too hard that these cables are gonna come out of the connector. So just keep that in mind. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out of the back here just like that. Just kind of squeeze the connectors through the hole there. And there we go, the whole thing's just gonna come right out. All right, now we have nice access to the board right there. Then you're gonna see there's four screws on each corner, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go ahead and get those out and I'm gonna use a number one screwdriver and do that. Okay, and then we're gonna get two more screws out. And while I do that, I'm just gonna tell you uh, the benefits of these new boards. So basically the old boards, you could only configure them as a keyboard. So they were basically strictly a keyboard encoder. And now with the new board, you can actually switch over to different modes and you can have the board act as a direct input device or as a next input device. So it's really cool because more and more you're seeing that new games are not supporting keyboard inputs and if they are, it's not ideal, such as Street Fighter V for example. That game you cannot configure two players if you have strictly a keyboard encoder. So with this new board, you just flick it over to the X input mode 
and basically Windows is going to see the two players on the X arcade stick as player one and player two as if you had two Xbox controllers plugged into the PC. So it's really cool and you'll be able to play something like Street Fighter V with no problems at all. And the other really cool new feature that is long overdue is the ability to configure the inputs on the XRK joystick through a USB keyboard. So you no longer need to connect to the back over here like my old tutorial with a PS2 keyboard, although they kept that functionality in, which is really cool. So you can still do it the old way, but you no longer need to do that. You can actually just plug it into USB to your computer and then you can download their software utility and you can configure the buttons right through the software utility with your USB keyboard. So those are the major advantages of applying, uh, or I should say installing this new board to your XRK joystick. All right, so we're gonna continue here and we're gonna go ahead and kind of take the board out and we're gonna go ahead and remove these connections. Now, I like to just go ahead and grab the new board right here and just connect it one by one as I go. That way I don't mix anything up. You can, of course, always label these, put a piece of tape on here and label them, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it one by one this way so I don't mix anything up here. I'm gonna try my best to do that. It's a little bit hard because these are kind of tight, so maybe I will start at the back here and do it that way. So I'll do this one up here. Okay, there we go. So once you have everything transferred over and connected to the new board, you just wanna put it back and screw it right in with the four screws on each corner. Okay, and once those screws are in, you can go ahead and put this other cable back in. So we're gonna put it through the hole, that connector in first, then the second one. And we're gonna put those back in their place. Okay, and then finally, you just wanna take the entire cable, put it back in like that, and you're gonna take this rubber or plastic piece here and just put it right back in the hole. There we go, and it's back in, okay? Nice and tight. And after that, obviously, you wanna put the cover back on put all the screws on. And if you want, you can put the little rubber covers back in the center of the screws. And that is gonna be about it, guys. So basically, back here, if you take a look at the switch, now it's obviously upside down, but there is your switch that you're gonna flick for the different modes. So on the mode that it comes with um, out of the box, it's all the way to the left. If you're standing in the back of it and you have it not upside down, it's the mode all the way to the left. That is the standard MAME keyboard configuration, okay? So you can't do anything with that mode. If you're trying to do anything custom, that's just gonna be the standard MAME configuration. Now you flick it over one time to mode number two. That is your programmable, uh, programmable keyboard mode. So basically that's the one that you can configure uh, with the new software utility. And if you flick it over one more time, that's gonna be your direct input mode. And finally, the last one, mode four, that is your X input mode. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.